Hello everybody, welcome back. We are here to do your May 24th pick a card. These are cards one, card two, and card three. Um, you just pick whichever card calls to you the most. That's going to be the most noticeable energy of the day for you. For a lot of us, these cards are coming through in chronological order, all three of them for the day. So it's kind of interesting to see how that might work out. Um, if you have picked card one, what you have showing up is the moon card in reverse. Now the moon card in reverse is an interesting card to me. It does talk about a situation where we knew that there was something going on behind the scenes, but we weren't able to put our finger on exactly what it was. And now that this moon card is coming up in reverse. This is indicating that the truth is coming to the surface. And this is a truth that's coming to the surface without us even having to dig for it. It just rises. <laughs> what do they say? The truth is always known. Something. You always find out the truth. I don't remember exactly the words, but there's a saying that talks about that. The truth always does come out. This is talking about that truth coming out. Now, the second card, if you chose card two, then what you have showing up is the strength card in reverse. Strength card in reverse can mean a whole lot of things. And I feel like uh, this can be, <laughs> this can be very mundane. This can be as simple as skipping your trip to the gym today. This can be not feeling very good physically. This can also be, and this is generally what it is more for me, it talks to me more about self-esteem than anything else. That your self-esteem may be taking a hit today. Um, it may be that somebody is telling you that, you know, something is your fault. Something is because of you and you're to blame. And you may be believing them and so I always recommend that if that's the case when this card shows up where somebody's trying to tell you that you're the cause of something that was negative, then you sort of step back, become more objective about that, and look at that situation overall and ask yourself, how much influence did I have on that situation? Did I influence it in the best way that I knew how? If I had any influence, you may not have any. And then move on from there. Usually if somebody else is trying to tell us how we have really messed something up, then usually it's them that kind of messed it up and they just don't want to uh, take accountability for that. So, you know, that's one thing to keep in mind if that comes in as somebody really putting a hit on your self-esteem during the day. Um, ba -bom -bom. What's the other thing I wanted to talk about with this too? Hmm. It still had to do with self-esteem. Oh, the other thing is, if nobody is is giving you this hit, like if nobody is is trying to tell you that, oh, this is all your fault, this can also manifest as you deciding something is all your fault and sort of blaming yourself for things that really are not necessarily your fault and usually when this card comes in it's just flat not your fault and so you want to be careful about your self-talk today as well you want to make sure that you're not uh, putting yourself down or blaming yourself or you know that you're not being harder on yourself than really is necessary okay now the next card, for those of you who chose, card number three is the Hanged Man in Reverse. Now, if you guys have been watching me a while, you know I liked the Hanged Man in Reverse. This is actually my favorite depiction of the Hanged Man in Reverse because here um, it looks like he's dancing a jig, probably like an Irish foot-clogging type of jig, and he must be doing pretty good because it looks like people are throwing flowers at him, probably roses even. And so for me, this is a very happy card. This is a, a liberated, a freedom card. This talks to me about the idea that we may have had some kind of problem or situation that we didn't know how to move forward with in our lives. And so we probably had to take some time to meditate on it or to think it through, to try to really look at the situation 
and look at options for how to deal with it. With the hanged man in reverse, we've come up with a solution, how we can move forward in a way that we're happy with. And so making those, taking that action, moving forward with whatever that situation is, no longer paralyzed in it or stuck in it, okay? So for those of us that these are coming through and it's going to be, you know, more in chronological order that we might get hit by all of these energies, I guess hit maybe isn't an appropriate word, influenced by all of these energies, we do have a truth that comes out that we kind of, we knew something was there, we just didn't know exactly what. We also have, um, we may not be feeling that good physically, or we may skip, you know, some opportunity to strengthen ourselves, like going to the gym or going to a class or whatever. Um, or I think, and I think this applies to most of us, self-talk. We really have to watch self-talk, whether it's somebody else planted an idea in our mind or whether we are. Um, this is really talking bad to ourselves and we want to we want to cut that out. If we don't love ourselves, who is going to? And then last thing that shows up here is this release from a situation where we were stuck in. We find we have found uh, the best way to handle this situation going forward so we can handle it in a productive, healthy way. So very cool ending for the day. Um, thank you everybody very much for being here and for sharing this video. I'm looking forward to doing private readings and private Reiki sessions with some of you today and the rest of you. I'll see you back on the next video. Peace out.